Welcome to our Upward Bound YouTube series. This is our first video for our fall 2021 program. And today we are going to give a little lesson about staying organized as a student. Mm -hmm. Because we want you guys to be organized, not agonized. Mm -hmm. That's a word. It yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> um, so today, uh, what we're going to do is because we did a little community meeting in the fall and we asked you guys what was most needed uh, during this transition back to being in school. And a lot of students said that they need help with um, organizing and planning and time management. That was the number one thing that students were saying is more challenging now that they're back in person at school. So one of the things that we believe is being organized makes your life run smoother. It saves you time and it makes you feel like you're on top of things instead of having that constant feeling of being smothered, um, feeling like you're missing something, feeling behind. So we want to just give you some tips. But before we get into some of the tips that we have for you today, we want to do a little preliminary check for you to see how organized you are. Indeed. So um, if you all could grab a lined piece of paper and down the left side of the paper, like, uh, you know, people normally number things, uh, you're going to number one through eight down the page. So we'll, we'll wait for a second for you. You can pause the video to collect some supplies and number your paper. Okay, great. And next to um, each number, it's going to be corresponding to a statement at uh, the bottom of the slide, as you can see here. So um, depending on what the statement is, you're going to put a two for if you always, uh, almost always do that um, situation, if you sometimes do it, or if you hardly ever do it. So two for almost always, one for sometimes, and zero for hardly ever. So again, you can pause this video to take a second and score yourself on each of these. Um, I'm going to read can... each one. Yeah. Yeah, Just read I can, I'll, I'll read them. So um, for the first one, um, ha you have what you need when you go to class. So every day when you're at school and you go to class, you sit down and have everything ready. You have your books for class. You have your papers and pencils and assignments, all that stuff. Um, number two, you keep your papers organized. Um, that could be notes, homework, handouts, permission slips, whatever. Number three, I use a planner or agenda or calendar or phone calendar to keep track of my assignments. Number four, I create a study plan when I have a lot of homework. Excuse that typo, we're all human. Uh, Except pens, pens are not human. Pens. Yeah, pen, yeah. Um, actually, I could. Um, number five. I get everything ready for the next day before I go to bed. So at night before going to bed, you have your clothes laid out maybe, you have your stuff in a book bag ready to just grab and go the next morning. Um, number six, I regularly back up and organize my computer files. Um, now that we're in 2021, this becomes increasingly more relevant and important. Um, number seven, I make to-do lists when I have a lot to do. And number eight, I keep my backpack and locker organized and neat. So look through these. You're going to give a two, one, or zero, depending on what you are doing right now for those. Be honest with yourself. Yes. Um, after you finish scoring that, add them all up at the bottom of the page. The maximum uh, score you can get is 16, and the minimum is zero. We are hoping for no zeros, but we will see. If you scored a 14, 15, or 16, you're probably very organized. Keep it up. If you scored less than 14, consider the items that you marked sometimes or hardly ever, and think about what goals you can um, work on and set for yourself to improve those strategies. Um, considering the question of what should you focus on to be more organized? So. What areas of your life? Is it your paperwork? Is it just your not writing down tasks? Is it um, just your papers are everywhere? You can never find your book bag, things like that. So um, think about the, the strategies you marked as sometimes or hardly ever and take a moment to write down your ideas on how to improve that. 
You can pause the video if you would like to take a second and do that before we continue. So one of the things that we think is really an important skill to begin building as a high school student is a planner, um, using a planner. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of planners, have seen planners, have had planners, but unless you know what the point of a planner is, they can sort of just sit on your desk never being used, right? So what's the point of a planner? Here are some things you can do about it. Do with the planner. You can write notes and reminders that will help your, help your memory and keep you on track. Oh, it's very unreasonable for you or your teachers or your parents or your job to expect you to remember every single assignment, every single task, every single event that you are given at school and in your personal life. As you get older and you have more things to do, the more important it becomes for you to have something outside of your own memory to rely on those things. The number of times when I've talked to a student and their excuse for not completing something or showing up is that they forgot is very high. Um, and so now as a student in high school, you should be working on making a system for yourself that you don't rely so heavily on your own memory. And this will make you feel so much lighter, make you feel so much more prepared for life, make you feel less stressed and less anxiety overall. Um, planners will help you ensure that your assignments get completed and submitted on time, um, which will give you better results academically, right? When you're submitting things on time. And you can record daily assignments, social activities, weekly goals, tests, quizzes, dates, personal appointments, doctor appointments, anything like, like that, deadlines, important dates, and anything else. A planner is really something that is, ju is just a place for you to take what's floating around in your mind and put it in a concrete place where you can refer to it later. And what that does is free up space in your mind for other things like learning and interacting with friends and feeling um, you know, productive in other ways than just constantly trying to remember everything. So I wanna ask you, do you have a planner? Um, and if so, do you use it? Or have you had a planner in the past? So think about it. Um, if you already have a planner, awesome. Um, take a look at it. What can you do to better utilize the things around you that you can use to stay organized? So if you don't have a planner, can you use just a calendar you have at home? Can you use your phone? Can you use a notebook to just write down lists? Um, so what, what systems do you already use to help you remember activities? Think about that. And I don't know if there are any students who feel like if they have to write stuff down and use a planner, it's like a personal point of failure because they should be able to remember this stuff and I need to be on top of it and I can't rely on a planner. Well, um, unless you have a photographic memory, that's just not the case. And we use planners, we use our calendars, um, Miss Amy and I, um, and just so many successful adults. You'd be surprised about, about how many CEOs of companies have like a fully fleshed out agenda, calendar, and planner. It's, it's a sign of maturity. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing that you should know is that we are gonna be actually mailing you home a planner. We um, have this planner for all of our students who are participating this summer and if you have, I mean this fall, and if you haven't already received one from us in person, we're going to mail you one. Um, so we're gonna ask you to do a couple things. This is what it'll look like. Um, you should, of course, when you receive it, um, write your name in the first page. Um, make sure that you put some contact information so if you lose it, they can find they can find you. Um, there are some things that the um, the planner will will contain. It has a ruler or bookmark that you can use to mark the time that you are actually at at that moment. There's different sections with information on studying and goal setting, um, social well-being, academic fact sheets that are arranged by color-coded pages. So there's like purple and blue and red and they each are something different. Like here's, you know, how to use the metric system and how to convert different units of measurement and things like that. A periodic table, just like things you might need in school. Um, things about the planets too. Um, little things so you can like look it up quickly. There's also at the back of the book some fun little helpful stickers that you might use to keep your um, 
to keep your planner more colorful, to keep it more organized visually, if you like that kind of thing. Um, the way that the, if you wanna close the, the presentation for a second, Joe, I can show the students what the sort of general way that this is set up. So there's, you can set up your, your, your planner monthly. So if you can look at each month um, and you can see the entire month at once. And this is really good for writing down events, for writing down birthdays, for writing down like when you just sort of want to plan your week, what you have going on. Um, so that's a, that's a good way to use it. They also have it marked down by week. So here's how you're going to like write down your actual assignments. Um, so this week is the week of, we are already in November. This week coming up, right, is you'd start school um, on Monday the 8th. And you'd write down all of your assignments that you get that day. And then once they're finished, you can check them off. If you, maybe you see that you have a test coming up on Thursday. So you write down science test Thursday. And then as you're looking at your week on Wednesday night, you make sure that you study for it. Um, and so the planner, the weekly portion of the planner is how you kind of start to organize your days. Um, this is very useful um, to helps keep you on track academically to help make sure that you're studying, to make sure that you're completing your assignments. Maybe you have a paper due in two weeks, right? And your teacher says that to you and you write it down and then you forget until you actually get to that week. Well, at least you see it's there because you wrote it down and you can start it on Monday instead of start it, you know, the week, the day before or forget it all together. So it's very useful for you to, as soon as you hear a date, find it in the calendar, in the planner, write it down and have it there. Now you don't have to remember that it's there and you're doing your future self a favor, right? Um, so this calendar, the specific planner is the entire school year. So it goes into 2022 all the way to the end. Um, and then you can use this ruler to sort of mark the day that you are, the week that you're in. So you can open up to it right away. Um, and you can see exactly where you need to go immediately. Um, there's little goal setting tips um, each week where it just tells you some different things you can focus on if you're a goal setter. Um, it can give you, it gives you different vocabulary words each week. It's just a fun little way to approach setting your own schedule. Um, and so I think that's the main thing that I want to point out to you about this particular planner. We are going to be giving incentives to students who are using them regularly. So if you start to use your planner, you can send me pictures, show me how you're using it. Um, and we're going to have some little fun incentives for you. So take a weekly picture of your planner um, and let me see all of the ways that you're using it. Anything else, Joe, that we should point out about this planner that you can remember? I know you don't have yours with you. Um, just, uh, just that we were pretty surprised about just how much information there is about study tips mm -hmm. um, and how comprehensive like the academic fact sheets are with. Yeah, they have this like commonly misspelled words sheet. That's really cool. That's and then cool. at the like these monthly ones, you can set like monthly goals for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, like if you're like this month, I really want to make sure I make a dentist appointment or like I really want to work out, you know, on the weekends or whatever it is that you want to get done. They're handy. So we'll be um, sending those off to you if you don't um, already have it because the mail system lately has been, I don't know, touch and go. Um, yeah. Um, so other than uh, organizing your kind of schedule, tasks, time. Uh, another thing that will help your education in general is organizing your paperwork and keeping everything sorted. So um, keeping your tasks organized with planners is important, important, but so is keeping your papers organized to save time, brain power, and frustration. Think about your system right now for organizing your papers class folders, binders, book bag, et cetera. Um, do you have one at all? Do you kind of just put stuff in your backpack and hope for the best every day? Um, what could you do better? What kind of stuff is important to organize? So is it important to organize your notes when you're taking notes, um, to organize your assignments, handouts? Um, what, what do you need to personally, for each of you individually, 
what is important for you to organize and do better at. So consider these questions when thinking about your organizing habits. What is the state of your book bag? Um, are all of your class folders in the back and all of your supplies in the front? Is it just a bag full of loose papers that scares you every time you open it up? Um, do you have a binder to hold all your papers? Do you have a folder for each class to keep worksheets? Um, do you have a specific place where you take your notes for each class? Um, do you go to school with writing utensils or do you find yourself constantly asking your friends or teachers for something to write with? That all is just like little tiny barriers throughout your entire day just to make a learning harder for yourself. So when you get to stay organized and get to be on top of your paperwork and kind of just like your entire educational organization system, um, it just makes it so much easier for you to learn effectively and not have to worry about any small things so that you can focus on the big tasks like homework and projects and being learning, your, like actually learning. understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so to yourself right now, you can pause the video after I'm finished talking, but think about these areas in your life that you might need to work on. Um, you can make a mental check mark underneath each category, but these are all categories that are vital and just staying organized to make things easier. So we're thinking about your papers, your paperwork, your classwork, your homework, um, worksheets and handouts of information from classes, your time in general, using a planner, um, using alarms on your phone to give you reminders, your computer files. Uh, a lot of the time you have to submit online assignments and if you um, have it in like six different subfolders and you can't really find where you saved something, that's not great. Um, and can I just like give a quick tip to be thoughtful yeah. about what you name your files so Please. you can remember what, don't just call it like paper, like, you know, Word document too. Like that's- Untitled document file. Yeah. Um, so name your, your files and create folders for each yes. class. And that will be really helpful for you to- find it when you need to submit it. Very, very helpful. Um, we have a share folder ourselves for work and yes. there are quite a lot of folders. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, but we can at least directly find things, yeah. um, which is helpful. Um, like we said before, you're a backpack. Um, your class notes in general, are you taking notes just like slowly on different, like a notebook here, a piece of paper there? Is it all in one place where you're taking your notes? And do you label your notes at the top like science notes, today's date, this is the subject we're doing. Um, think about that stuff and, and your other stuff. So if you're forgetting pencils constantly or if you like to have a ruler on you or um, if you, know, you find that like your pencils and other supplies are breaking in your book bag because of the weight of textbooks or whatever, um, just make sure your, your stuff is also organized. Yeah, um, your desk at home. GIF. The are you looking at the GIF? I just noticed it. <laughs> yeah. And the, the Incredibles is a great movie, and um, it is incredible to be an organized student. There we go. <laughs> um. So after you've sort of done some of that, those mental notes that Mr. Joe just asked you to to go through. Um, here's some things that we could help you with. If you need any of these specific things, let us know and we can send it to you. So here are some things that we think might be helpful, some tools that you might use in addition to a planner that could help you become more organized at school. Um, the first thing is a binder to just hold it all together. A pencil pouch to hold your pencils, your pens, your highlighters, your little stapler, your post-it notes, whatever you need. Um, subject dividers for each class you're taking. So if you have four or five classes, you can easily just, oh, this is my science class. And you go right there and you start taking your notes right there. Pocket folders are really helpful, like Mr. Joe was saying, for just keeping any handouts your teachers give you for anything you want to turn in so it doesn't get all crunchy inside your book bag. You have it there, you pull it out, and you give it to your teacher. Um, lined paper, spiral notebooks, different um, ways to differentiate for each class. So whatever you prefer. Now, that the thing about this, the thing about organization is that some things work better for certain people and you have to invest in figuring out what works for you. It's 
it's not, um, it's not going to be the same for every person. So you have to try things and just see what works for you, a system that is um, consistent for you, that you will actually keep up with. These are some tips we have seen and used ourselves that we think can help you. And you have to sort of be willing to try them. Mm -hmm. I think up in the box, we suggest, like, for example, arranging your subject dividers by class schedule. So like your first tab should be your first class. And as you're going throughout the day, you're kind of getting further and further into your binder um, and maybe writing the names of your classes on the divider tabs and using colors to sort of help um, organize each subject. One thing I do want to say, um, there's a very inspirational quote by Eleanor Roosevelt, but I think beyond that quote, I think one of the things I think is most important is sometimes we just believe that some people are naturally organized and that's their personality and everything is easy for them. And we sometimes believe we are not that person and we can't do it. We are just born to be unorganized. And I want to say that's untrue. You can learn organization, you can practice it, you can get better, and it will improve your life in a lot of different ways if you take the time to plan and to set yourself up for success in those ways. It's a very learnable skill, um, and it's just something that every, every, every year I do something, I learn like a little bit more, a little bit better way to be organized for when I do it again. Um, so I think that's the most important takeaway from this is that you're not born to be unorganized. You can, you can learn these things and we want that for you because it will, I, I, it will improve your just well-being overall. It is a skill and habit, just like any other skill and habit that you just learn through doing repetition and practicing. Yeah. So we hope you found this useful. Please keep an eye out in the mail for this planner that's coming to you um, if you're an Upward Bound student. Um, we are also going to provide a link for you um, at the, in, this, in the description here um, so you can answer some questions for us to, so that we can see that you watched this video. So thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.